Greetings, Calvary Christian Church family. I hope my short visit with you today finds you doing well and this year off to a great start for you and yours. Like me, I'm sure you were looking forward to a brand new year and now that it's here, it's, it's hard to believe that we are almost through the first month of 2021. All of that to say that though we are still in this marathon, time is marching on and every day brings us closer to the time when we will all be able to worship together again in person. In the meantime, a lot of things continue to move forward as usual, including our annual month of personal commitment. As each January, we renew our commitment to the spiritual disciplines of prayer, God's word, serving, giving, and sharing our faith, to name just a few. This past Sunday, I brought a message entitled, Serving in Hope as we looked at 1 Corinthians 15, 58, where the Apostle Paul writes, So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong. I called that being steadfast. He said, be immovable. I called that being stubborn. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. I called that being a servant. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. I called that being sure and secure. What a great promise from God's word that regardless of our current circumstances or situation, we can continue to serve the Lord and whatever we do for him will never be in vain. We're so very grateful for the hundreds of you already partnering with us in ministry by serving somewhere on the ministry team. <clears throat> We're also encouraged by the significant number of new people connecting with us just this week saying, Pastor Tim, I'm here and I'm ready to get busy serving the Lord in my church. And while we need workers in every area of the ministry, I did take time in the message this past Sunday to emphasize the increased importance of ministries that are now helping us present our services online. Did you know that 75% of our audience on Sundays is online? And when you add the additional online views during the week, that percentage grows to 80%. Think of that. 80% of our weekly audience is online. And by the way, that audience is not just local but is now reaching across our country and literally around the world. And so it is that we need an army of workers to help us in the many technical areas that involve uh, putting a ministry online. We're talking about things like sound technicians, uh, people who can help with lighting so that my bald head is not too shiny on the screens, people who can help us with media. And of course, we need lots and lots of gifted musicians and singers to help us lead in worship each week. We've also established a communications department or ministry, and we need help there with creative communications, as well as help working on our website and social media. So many of these things uh, never entered my mind 40 years ago as I got started in pastoral ministry. But my oh my, haven't times changed. And these various things are so very important today. So I thought I would just uh, drop in to talk with you about this for a few minutes today. And once again, encourage you to get involved in ministry. Get involved wherever you feel most led and gifted. But please hear that special appeal that I'm making today as well. For anyone and everyone who can help us take our online services to a whole new level as we pursue nothing but excellence in our service for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you missed the sermon this past Sunday, I hope you'll go online and watch it as soon as possible. Again, it's called Serving in Hope. And then, since I know you will all want to get involved, you can simply email us at office at calvarychristian.church. That's office at calvarychristian.church. If you know what ministry you're interested in, you can mention that in your email. If you're not sure, then just say, hey, I'm letting you know that I'm interested in getting involved and uh, the appropriate person or pastor will be in touch with you soon. God bless for now. Hang in there, everyone. And just a reminder to call or email us if you need any kind of pastoral care. We are always here to help you and serve you in any way possible. Jackie and I love you. We're praying for you. And we look forward to worshiping with you again this Sunday. God bless for now.